What is going on, guys? I'm Jada Black. We're going to talk about Big Sean and Janae. Okay. And they were on an Instagram live, and apparently she, quote unquote, pressured or pressed him about marrying her. Now, I've been looking at some comments from people. It, it didn't sway my thought process. No, no comments do. But I just want to see what people are saying just to get the temperature because I wanted to see if people saw some of the things that I saw uh, from this particular video here. Okay. Now, I'm going to play this for y'all. And y'all tell me as a listener, this, do you see the same things that I see? We're going to break this all the way down. Okay. Oh, yeah. Why don't you marry me? Yeah. It's going to work. Whatever. I don't need no man. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, bye. Down there's even more people. You guys. Yeah, really? have fun. I'm sure there's a more entertaining life. Hey, be safe. I love you. Stay safe, cuz. I love you too. All right. Gotta be cool. Now, I want to say this, people. Hopefully, the sound wasn't too much. I don't know why it doesn't play better sound when I do these. But I want to break this down because, again, you have Janae's fans who are very hardcore. I mean, they will go to bat for her. They will make excuses for her because I guess they're her fans. They don't see logic. But like some of these other fans or some of these other fan bases, I think we have to put her fan base there too. Um, but looking at this clip, and I've seen some other clips too, but just looking at this clip, okay? People are saying that all oh, these were just jokes, okay? These were just jokes and they should not be taken seriously. But I want y'all to understand, I'm, and I'm glad somebody screenshot this. This picture here tells you everything you need to know about this video clip, okay? Yes, jokes, but I think he was genuinely caught off guard. So we can talk about jokes and jokes and jokes all you want to, but he was caught off guard. And Big Sean is a very cool and calm guy. Like, I see he did the, uh, what's that show called? Hot Wings or... I think it's something, some show for complex they have where the, the celebrities go in and eat the hot wings. He did the whole thing and was very cool throughout the whole process of eating those spicy wings. So we all know he has a very cool and calm demeanor. But I think he was genuinely caught off guard. And then when she had the long whatever, I've, listen, I've dealt with that before. I've dealt with when you're having a conversation with a female and she's being sarcastic. There's certain things that you spot, you know, and I think that some people just aren't looking at that. I am very big on body language and the body language I saw from him and the way that she, you know, she had to literally break the ice after she said that, you know, because she knows he was caught off guard. And Janae to me seems like a bit of a narcissist, okay? When Big Sean made those Instagram videos speaking about being in toxic relationships and having to sort of step back and, and really learn and mature, that's when she did that song about him and went on this campaign, okay? She did not want to look bad in the public eye. And it worked because Big Sean folded and went back to her. And, and I believe they're together publicly, privately. I don't think they're together. Why, why are they not quarantined together? Well, what is he in the studio? Okay. Is he about to do a, a no audience tour? Okay. I think publicly he feels like he let her down. He feels like he needs to help her in her public relations. Because if you look at the clips, man, 
she is seemingly in control of that situation she wants people to believe she's in control that she has to say so that he loves her because towards the end of the clip he's telling her that he loves her all right but she was very reluctant almost to say it back because there's still some hurt feelings there about how the relationship that they had before you know ended i don't think there's no hard feelings on his side but i think there's hard feelings on her side okay now let's look a little, little bit of what complex has to say real quick if there was any doubt that big sean and janae recently rekindled their romance then the paris instagram live session on wednesday was confirmation during the session as fans watched the two unabashedly uh flirt with one another sean told her how good she looks in which she replied oh yeah why don't you marry me while she appeared to be kidding sean revealed that marriage is in the cards and soon it's in the works he said don't even trip early in the conversation uh aiko joked about being single that her dms are wide open sean didn't love her commentary instead becoming territorial and warning that he'd fight anyone who flirted with aiko does that sound to you like a female who wants to be married why would you even say that like seriously what do you get out of that okay but her fans are going to defend that because they are just stands and they, they're gonna believe anything she says and does she's a bit of a narcissist man look, look how her previous relationship ended and how she got with big sean there are hurt feelings there she got this dude's face tattooed on her and she still did not walk down the aisle with big sean i think big sean feels guilty because i think that she probably told him that you know what he said hurt her and hurt her reputation made her look bad so i think that he has tried to do damage control because i believe he's the one who left the relationship the couples had a rocky on again off again relationship over the years in march of 2019 they were officially confirmed their split after having dated for three years they reportedly ended things on good terms and even when broken up were still posting photos together and featuring on each other's songs while they haven't outwardly said that they're back together it's been assumed that they reunited over the holidays but they're not quarantined together which means they're not together pro privately publicly because I don't know what it is man like women got to understand that when you're in your prime and you have your looks and, and you have your you know youthfulness if you're done with a relationship you need to move on and you need to heal she hasn't really taken the time to heal because she's so obsessed with her public image and that is why she is still dealing with a guy who is not going to marry her a guy who was genuinely caught off guard by what she said he was caught off guard man just look at the look on big sean's face it says it all look at this come on man you cannot tell me that that wasn't super awkward man but of course her fans are gonna make it seem like and i'm not attacking her fans i'm just saying just some of the comments i'm seeing they're making it seem like oh this is all jokes y'all don't get it this is nothing to speak about come on man what, what, it just seemed like because listen i've been around females they like to you know be physical with their boyfriend they like to embarrass their boyfriends i i know chicks like that okay and this seemed like an opportunity to take a jab at big sean because you know this is the guy you've been on and off again with and you're bringing up marriage in front of forty-five thousand people on an instagram live you're telling people that your dms are wide open but they're in a relationship is that something a female in a loving relationship who has respect for her boyfriend would say does that make any sense to y'all look at his face 
what the comments say. Boy said, I love you and look like, say, yeah, say it back with the crying emoji, crying emoji, crying emoji. Let my ass off. I bagged that. He wasn't hanging up without that. Uh, let's see. Their exes. I mean, these two. Let my ass off. This nigga lying. He definitely is typing, sent me. Crying emoji, laughing out loud, crying emoji, crying emoji, laughing out loud, crying. <laughs> Anybody who's seen my live stream know what I'm doing that. Uh, watching all these clips. Just like this, I swear I love it. Uh, see, these are fans. They really love this. They really love to see a covertly toxic relationship. Okay? Am I the only one who thinks this is cringy? It says they're so pretty to look at, but that was kind of that was kind of I guess awkward. Is it just me that doesn't see that chemistry? And the brother says, "Yeah, just you." I told y'all the, these fans. It's like the Barb's man, or the uh, Cardi B's fans. Like no matter what they say or do, they're gonna defend it. They're not looking at this clip and breaking it down and just saying that this was her publicly shaming this guy. Uh, they're not going to see it that way because they want to make it seem like, you know, this is normal. I guess it is normal to sort of throw things out there in front of thousands of people to embarrass the guy that you say you love to say how your DMs open. But they say it's all jokes, right? OK, when Dave Chappelle makes jokes about the alphabet community. They don't give it. They don't care that it's jokes. They want him to apologize, you know, over jokes. Those are jokes, but they still want him to apologize because they are offended. You know, now, I'm not offended by what she's saying, but I'm just saying there's always truth in comedy or in jokes. You know, I'm a very sarcastic person. You know, I, I could say things that people will say is funny, but I'm speaking some facts. I felt that, oh, in my soul. Me too. It's in the works. A nigga that's not gonna marry you. Man, why I find you here. Oh, I guess they know each other. Uh, I love them. Another way to say go with the flow. I just don't know with these two. To uh, I guess to be honest, he looked away after saying that he lying. Don't tell these women that because they believe anything. I agree, man. That's why the truth should matter. The truth should always set you free. Be honest and be real, man. And y'all know good and well, she knows good and well, he's not going to marry her. That's why she said whatever. That video clip was awkward. Um, but again, people are going to look at it and they're going to think that it's so cute. It's so adorable. But you have to understand that loving couples don't act icy like that like she literally had to break the ice after saying that because she knew she had caught him off guard but people don't understand body language and they don't understand women okay this is an adult you know this is a woman who should understand and know better and understand that we you know we you're trying to heal yourself publicly we we know that you want to look like a certain way for your fans and it's going to be at the detriment of big sean i literally think that they both should just not be with each other but it's almost like they don't want she don't want you to be with nobody else it's like he don't want her to be with nobody else and she don't want him to be with nobody else she definitely don't want him going back to ariana grande because there was talk that he was hanging around ariana and and i think that that drove her you know crazy you know, and that's why she wants to be in his life, even though she has her own life to live. She still wants to be in his life because she definitely don't want to see him going back to Ariana. You know what I'm saying? It's in the works. It's in the works. Got to love these two, though. Uh, she's something else in real life. I can tell. He was not getting off that live until she said, I love you, too. He should have never have to wait for her to say i love you once again embarrassing this guy but people are not going to see it that way because they want to see things the way that they see it okay they should just marry already 
LOL, it's in the works. Sounds like a lie. It probably is. You see what she said at the end? Yeah, it's just a lie. I guess a lot of people who remember this. But I want y'all to, to look at this video clip. I may even edit it into the beginning of the video. I don't know yet. But people got to understand body language, understand human behavior, understand that people nowadays like to waste each other's time. You got a lot of these, you know, couples that get together, then they break up. They don't want to see their exes with other people because they, they haven't moved on. So they don't want to see you move on. And I think this is what you're seeing. These two shouldn't really be with each other. I'm not vilifying her, but I'm looking at it for what it is. It just seems like two people who are probably better off without each other than with each other. He's trying to make up with her some type of way and she doesn't want to see him with another woman because we all know big sean you know he he strikes gold not say gold it's kind of cliche or stupid but he he's never not had a bad chick either uh career wise in the industry or looks wise you know he always is able to um, date very relevant women at that particular moment and I think she knows this and she don't want to see him with an even attractive female who is even more successful because she knows Big Sean will pull those type of chicks <laughs> she, this is a clear case of two people that don't want to see each other with other people that, that's what it seemed like to me it seemed like they don't really care about being with each other like that um, I could be wrong but it just seemed like they don't want to let each other go. And to me, that is the definition of toxic. Of toxic. 